Hi everyone, welcome to our Mira Knowledge channel. This is Vasilad Basha. Today we are uh, going to uh, show how we have to perform the main engine decap jobs. So basically this uh, main engine decap video I would like to split up into several parts. So this part will be only uh, the talk, talk video. So I would like to share my experience how uh, I would like to do and I, how I used to do when uh, decap job is performed. So that may help uh, you to plan your decap job or uh, maybe you must be having a better plan than me. So the idea is I would like to share uh, my view of how I organize to complete a uh, main engine decap job. So uh, all uh, preparation you have to do main thing is uh, checking of spares, checking of your hydraulic pump, hydraulic hose hydraulic hose all fittings and o-rings basically all these things mainly tools everything should be available and it has to be cross-checked to make sure you don't get stuck while we are doing the job once uh, when once you start the job of decab you should not stuck with uh, any spares or tools uh, like uh, i didn't forgot i didn't and bring this i didn't bring that all should be near your hand only so that uh, you don't waste time in going up and down to search of uh, tools, spares or whatever. So on the day of uh, decap, you just uh, have an early start. Instead of starting by 8 o'clock, start by 7 o'clock. So all the engine room team should be there. Suppose if you have 6 person on engine room, uh, split up the 6 person into 3 group, 3 into 2. So one group, so like uh, you will be uh, having a three team which includes two person in each team so one team will be working on the exhaust side of main engine exhaust wall like he will be opening the exhaust side nuts nuts and bolts and one team will be doing performing on the exhaust valve removing all the high pressure pipes lube oil pipes all small air pipes they will be removing that and one team will be going down in the crankcase and again when you enter the crankcase door it has to be entered by following proper enclosed space permit it should be properly ventilated and you follow all the enclosed space entry checklist so two person will be inside the crankcase door crank crankcase uh, and he will be removing the telescopic pipe. He will be removing the bolts connections for the stuffing box. So these two guys will be working down and two guys will be working on the exhaust and two guys will be removing the pipes and preparation of all the uh, exhaust means uh, your uh, high pressure nuts means hydraulic nuts. So by the time uh, it will take say if by 8.30 if all goes well by 8.30 they have to complete the opening of all the nuts and bolts for exhaust side and by the same time the third engineer and fitter who is down in the crankcase he can complete the removal of telescopic pipe blue oil connection and stuffing box connection so that will be done so by 8.30 these two gang will be out At the same time the gang who is removing their high pressure pipe, air pipe and other connection will also be done. So you have almost one and a half hours to complete this job. So after one, after 8.30, you start working on the, working on removal of the high pressure nuts. So involve all the team, maybe you can uh, use two team for removing the hydraulic jack if it is a smaller engine only one team is enough other team can focus on the preparation of the piston which is going to be fitted preparation in the sense he can get ready with the new piston rings and everything if it is a bigger engine which have multiple bolts bolts and nuts he two teams can be involved so the thing is once these three jobs are done so two team can come and start removing the hydraulic nut so by that time the nut is opened it will take 9 30 to 9 45 once the nut is removed you can remove the height cylinder head cover and keep it on the safest side in the stand 
so by so by 10 o'clock you are done with removal of cylinder cover from place so 10 o'clock you can give a tea break so 10 to 10 30 break is done so once you come all the three teams comes 10 30 you start working again so again the third engineer with fitter will go down and start removing the hydraulic nut for piston rod so by the time uh, he completes his job other cleaning jobs like uh, the preparation of the cylinder um, piston removal should be done like uh, doing the buffing on top of the liner all those things must be carried out with the help of one team one team can be working on the preparation of uh, gaskets cooling water gaskets and the cleaning of all these uh, high pressure pipes all those jobs can be done so three teams has to be always kept engaged during this entire decarb operation you can use electrician to uh, use to operate the crane if he is available and if not second engineer can do that so after 10 30 one team will be working on preparation for removing of the piston other team will be working on the gaskets and cleaning of uh, injector pipes other team will be working on the crankcase for removing the piston rod nuts so by 11 30 the nut of piston rod must have been removed and the piston removing area must be cleaned all uh, entire uh, carbon must have removed so 11 30 you can start uh, bringing the piston up to tdc and you can fit up the tool lifting tool and slowly slowly start removing the piston piston and keep it on the piston stand so by the time you remove and secure it it will be exactly 11 50 to 11 55 so you are done with removal of piston in place so now you can ask your people to go for a lunch break so one o'clock exactly come back what we have to do is uh, second engineer can take the liner calibration it will take half an hour once that is done once liner calibration is done straight away you fix the piston which is already kept ready as a standby to inside the liner so by the time you remove the uh, piston and fix inside the uh, cylinder liner and tighten it it will be exactly three o'clock so three o'clock again you can give a tea break and 3 30 again you start the job fix the cylinder cover inspect inspection can be done and one team will be fixing the cylinder cover the other team once it is done hydraulic nuts can be fitted and tightened once the tightening of hydraulic nut is done the team which has opened the exhaust uh, nut can come back and start fitting up fitting the bolts so one team can work on fitting the other cooling water lines uh, fuel injector lines and air lines and everything can be put back so once this is done you will be exactly reaching around 5 or 5 30 so your job is completed and you don't need to stretch the work hours you can complete the entire decar job within this eight hours if you are planning it properly and uh, your instruction to your crew or officer should be correctly followed and that's all this is how i plan so this will be the first part the next part uh, second two three we have a lot of part maybe i would like to uh, show it in around uh, six seven parts so thanks for watching thank you all